Welcome, friends, to my kitchen. Ben Vinge, a minha cozinha. What am I doing today? I'm doing a meal. Well, this is going to be my breakfast lunch because it's kind of almost lunch. Uh, French fries and fried eggs. My mom used to make this all the time. This was one of our favorite meals. But she wouldn't make it very much because the eggs weren't enough for all of us all the time. But we love this meal. We would usually eat this for dinner. Um, this would have been a meal that we would eat. We would have soup and then we would eat this after. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I know everybody knows how to make french fries and everybody knows how to fry an egg, but this is one um, meal that I remember as a kid, everybody loved it. There was no complaints who liked it, who didn't like it. Uh, I haven't been doing much videos. We had another dead in the family. This one was, was hard for all of us. Um, my sister-in-law lost her husband at six, he was 61 years old and it was suddenly. So for the last two weeks, it's just been very hard for us. So you have to excuse me, I haven't had no no heart to make videos, no time. So I was gonna do this today and I know this was one of the recipe, one of the meals that I wanted to share with you all because this was something we enjoyed it. So I have here two potatoes. This is just for me. And I mean, this is a lot for me, but I'm gonna make two potatoes. Um, I washed them, peeled them, slice them real thin, as thin as I could. There's some in here, I'm probably gonna slice them even thinner because they cook faster and they crisp up also fast. So, um, and then I'm gonna fry two eggs. And like I said, this is gonna be my lunch and breakfast. I haven't had breakfast and it's almost lunchtime. So I wash them real good and soak them in water and then I put them in a towel and dry them. So that way they can crisp up. If they're wet, they won't crisp up. So I'm gonna move all this to the back counter and I'm gonna show you how I make my french fries and eggs. Okay, I have a vegetable oil in here and I'm gonna throw one in there. And if it sizzles, you know they're ready. So I'm gonna do my french fries first and then I'll fry my eggs and this is small enough that it can fit all of them I want. My kids love this meal too. I used to make it and that was one of their favorites. We didn't buy those french fries already made. I make my own french fries. We always made our own french fries. We didn't go buy those french fries that you see already bagged in the store. So to this day, we talk among my sisters. This was one of our favorite meals. And like I said, my mom never made it um, too much because there was not enough eggs. I mean, we had an uh, probably a dozen chickens, but, you know, one egg each, and then there was my dad and my mom, so we wouldn't have it often, but we loved. But this was one meal my mom would make it quick. If there was something we, you know, always had potatoes, and so sometimes it was a quick meal to, to do, because we always had soup. Anyway... So it's kind of been one, the past two weeks has been just hard in all the family. And uh, it was so unexpectedly, my brother-in-law passed away and everybody kind of just still in shock. But that's just like none of us stay in here. So anyway. So um, I'm gonna fry this, and then when it's done, 
I'll show you and then we'll fry our eggs and I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm going to make some toast. I like to have a little bit of toast. Okay, my potatoes are at the point where I like. So I'm going to turn my stove off because I don't want them to keep cooking. And, um, and then I'm going to fry my eggs. I know everybody knows how to make this, but like I said, this was one of our favorite as kids growing up. Um, we love fried eggs. And it's funny that even some, um, now they're cousins by marriage, but in those days they were just neighbors. They would go from here, from California, over there to spend the summer, and that's what they wanted. And they wanted french fries and eggs. And I remember, you know, us, we didn't have very many eggs, so it was kind of hard to make fried eggs for them when we didn't have enough. And they grew eggs in here. But the parents wouldn't make fried fries and eggs. Okay, I'm going to ch change this frying pan. I changed for a new frying pan and I put a little bit of vegetable oil. And now I'm going to fry my eggs. interesting that everyth everything in life has its seasons. When we were growing up, we didn't have enough eggs. So we couldn't make this meal quite often, as much as we enjoyed it. Today, I'm blessed I have so many eggs. I came to a family that grew, produced eggs, and now it's so hard for me to cook could eat an egg. Uh, life is just full of surprises all the time. We never know. Mm. They're crispy in the inside, but they're soft in the inside. They're crispy in the outside. Love it. Why, when my mom made it, we were frying potatoes for us seemed like an eternity because we never made it. And the problem was somebody was always stealing the potatoes and we could not have enough potatoes. Did you guys ever made this growing up and made it into a meal? Me and my sisters, we, we talked so many times about this that we didn't have eggs when we were growing up. Then here we came to a family that the whole family grew eggs and we hardly eat a fried egg. I try to force myself to eat a fried egg or even an egg because I need protein. So, and I don't care if my egg broke break or not. Some people don't like, oh, don't break my yolk. I don't care. It's going to the same place. I already turned off my stove. I had just finished cleaning my stove. That's why I put the foil, because I thought, oh man, I don't want to dirty my stove again. And my fried eggs are done. Here is my breakfast and lunch, french fries and a fried egg. Okay, here's my breakfast and my lunch. I like some ketchup for my fries and my egg and I like sourdough bread with sugar-free um, blackberry jam. This, it can last me all day it is such a good easy meal. 
mm. to make. And like I said, I don't know why. It's so hard for me to make sometimes this because I enjoy it so much. And like I said, everybody knows how to make french fries and fried eggs. So you make it. You make french fries, fried eggs, and sometimes we even put uh, uh, pepper, salted pepper, we would eat with this instead because we didn't even have ketchup in those days. We would have a pimenta crudita and we would eat with us. So um, you give it a try to this easy meal. Um, in no time you have uh, french fries and, and a fried egg. So anyway, give it a try. And if you haven't subscribed to my video, please do. Give me some thumbs up and share my videos on your social media and with your friends. Until next time, have a good day.